freaking Google. Bloody Google makes me sign in again just as I'm trying to go live. Sitting on a stream for an hour. Got to sign in before I can go live again. I know, you guys are tortured. I know you guys are tortured because I read your comments, right? And so while you're doing the preamble, you all got to fill out your captchas. And then after the stream... Or even during the stream, you can only comment to so many, like the first seven or eight comments. But the other 1,300 comments, I can't say thank you. I can't say great point. So Google makes it impossibly hard all the time to, to comment and to have a chat. And then they don't allow replies. So it's like, go away. That's what they're saying. Yeah, they're trying to drive you literally away. They make it unimaginably difficult. Let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Standing Foot, Aqua, Chris, Toxic, Deborah, Kate, Missing Sky, DC, Roscoe, Sergeant, oh, excuse me, Janet, Tracy, Diver Dude, Albert, Brobert, 878, your little tricky name, Steve Meyer, Steve's always posting stuff, folks. Check Steve out. Irina Rell, Brian, just passing through, Newman, can't, still can't pronounce your name, man, Sergeant York, well, Miss Milky, hi, sweetie, Candace, just passing through, did I get any of everybody, Kevin, Stuart, oh, I think I've got everybody, Mass Sterilization, hi, right, go, great name. Because that's what the radiation is doing to everybody, mass sterilization. Let me try the audio. Oh, yeah, it's going. Whee! Here we go again. So, I posted a video a few hours ago about Dr. Wade Allison. And Stetson. Hi, Stetson. Stuart Burnett. Mark T. Reram Pet Lover, Miss Shrill, Piano, Aviator, Kurtzer K, Mickey, <laughs> Richie, Craig, One Rainy Wish, Angela, hi Angela, Michael Hand, that's pretty good, Albert, so over the top that time, we're up to the two and a half minute mark, that's pretty good, everything is running really smooth. Patrick McCornell, Dwayne, Lisa. Uh, okay, let me get rid of this page. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go move over to the other page. It takes a few seconds for the comments. I didn't have it to pre ammo. I was on the stream with you guys that time. It's quicker for me to find it because it seems like I'm like a minute behind you guys. When you, if I go over to the stream, your comments are there, and then a minute later, they show up on the inside. And it's probably a bit loud here tonight because we had snow for three days now. It's like, it's a lot down there now. It's like two inches or something. It's the first time we've seen snow all winter. So it's pretty shocking. Everybody else is going, shut up! <laughs> two inches over three days the first time all winter. How dare you, Dana? <laughs> Can't blame me. There you go, computer. <laughs> But Wade Allison, I've been watching him now for a couple hours. He's batshit crazy. He's batshit crazy. And it really bothers me that he taught at Oxford University for so many years and that he's writing books and that he's saying that no one died. That's his assertions at Fukushima. It's bizarre. You can't make that stuff up. He has no right to be saying that. He should check his facts before opening his mouth because he's a professor. And so the students that... His students over the years are paying attention to him, right? And they're going to regurgitate that nonsense. That's despicable. I'd say have a book burning for Allison, uh, Wade Allison, outside of he would make money. So download his picture and print it out and burn it. That's what he deserves. His students all should have to go back and get recertified because they're tainted by his... Bullshit, literally, that's the only word I can use for it. It's outrageous lies. Three melted reactors, Doc. 
three melted reactors, you old gizzard. You old thug is what you really are. Where's your compassion for the country, man? How can you say you want your kid to live in a nuclear future and teach nuclear in Oxford University, but you still can't even make a sarcophagus to put all of this shit into? Like you're probably one of the people that said, oh, just go dump it in the ocean, right? Britain probably dumped all their shit in the ocean because of your assertions, Doc. You crazy critter. I mean, that's ridiculous that he's got all these students out there that are probably just as stupid as he is. Like, it really drives home the point you can't trust any universities, you can't trust the professors, and you can't even trust the people that are coming out of the institutions. they got to prove themselves many times over before you can trust them. You can't trust any of them. They're all pro-nuke. They can't even build a sarcophagus to put the uranium-238 in they make bullets out of and fire in other people's countries. Right, Allison? He doesn't mention that part. Lots of people have died because of Fukushima just from the uranium-238 that's taken out of there and used in the A-10 Warthog and the Abram tanks and in soldiers' rifles. Remember, the A-10 Warthog shoots a ton and a half of uranium-238 left over from production, Doc. Don't forget to put that in your fucking equation sometime, you creepy... See, I'm going to snap here tonight, so I might as well calm it down. It really, truly gets under my skin that people like that are supposed to be uh, put up on a pedestal. That that person is supposed to be considered a professor. A bullshit. A bullshit. That's what he teaches. It's crap. His students are garbage. His students are thugs. He taught people how to be thugs. How not to rationalize anything, not how not to use an education to come to the right conclusion, but how to use an occasion to beat down the opposition. Not use an education to come up with technology to deal with the catastrophic releases of radio radioactive materials on this planet. No. It's okay, nobody died. Shut up already. Go read my book. How many times have we heard that one? Brian, Dr. Brian Hanley, Dr. J. Cullen, all of these creatures, and he's doing it. You know, Allison, Dr. Allison is doing that too, where he equates, you know, strontium and cesium and uranium and plutonium, daughters and radioactive isotopes and radioactive particles and radioactive atoms with getting an x ray or getting a CAT scan. If you go over to the NRC site, if you go over to the NRC site and medical procedures <coughs> on radiation, I'm going to read it for you, Doc and everybody else out there. Because I'm really getting tired of that one. Medical procedures, this is what they claim, right? Medical procedures account for nearly 96% of human exposure to man-made radiation. You might want to go down to Fallujah and tell that to the 70% of the children that are born with no arms, and no eyes, and no mouth, and no face, Doc, or no limbs, Doc, Allison, Doctor. Allison, you might want to go down there and tell them that how, oh, you get most of your radiation exposure. Why don't you go down there and tell the 5 million orphans in Afghanistan how the 5 million bullets a month and half of them were uranium-238 rounds. And that's, you're releasing, because as that goes to the air, it catches fire and it's releasing radioactive atoms. Yeah, it's sick and twisted, demented old creep. Retired, he's retired now. So he has a whole history of students out there that are stupid like him. That are ignorant pricks like him. That are maggots and parasites on society like him. That are the vultures that are destroying society because he puts out all these students who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because they're going to repeat what, regurgitate what he says all the time. For example, a chest x-ray typically gives a dose of about 0.01 rims, 10 millirems, and a full body CT gives a uh, CAT scan or... Um, can't remember. Gives a dose of... A thousand millirims, as shown in the table to the left. 
Among these medical procedures, x-rays, mammograms, and CT use radiation to perform functions similar to those of radioactive. Similar to those of radioactive isotopes. Let me repeat that one more time. Similar to those of radioactive isotopes. Similar. Similar, Doc, you dip. However, they do not involve radioactive material. Right? And that's the NRC, the U.S. Uh, NRC Nuclear Regulatory Committee. The head of it is uh, Allison McFarland. And she said, oh, yeah, no radiation came to America. There's no models out there showing any radiation headed our way. At a Senate hearing a few weeks ago, and I covered that in a video. Right? And this is what they do. They got the best job in the world, and they lie. They got the best job in the world, and everybody that, that looks up to them says, well, they, they should know what they're talking about. And then they friggin' lie to everybody. That's what, that's what this creature is doing, right? You know, Wade Allison is still giving interviews, still adamant, still lying and manipulating, and still reading from his teleprompter. He doesn't open his mouth without reading from the teleprompter. And he goes all over the world telling these lies. He gives lectures because he's an ex-professor from Oxford, so he's supposed to have some credibility. He's supposed to have the best credibility imaginable. The best. And he tells nothing but outrageous lies. And so what does that tell you? What does that leave us? It leaves us and tells us that you can't trust a single thing from a university. It tells you that all the universities are painted the exact same way. That there's not a single institution out there that is not pro-nuclear. That's where they make their money. That's where they're going to get their pension. That's where they're going to send their kids off. That's where their wives are going to become secretaries. Or like his wife, I think, was a... Um, she used to hand out toilet paper uh, in a bathroom. I think his first job, he used to work in a men's bathhouse as a towel boy when he was a kid. And they said, you know, a couple of professors at that uh, men's bathhouse thought he looked pretty good bending over picking up the soap all the time. And so they put him to university, got him a degree, and he stuck him in there because he knew he was a twisted and demented, and rotten, horrible, angry old man. That's what he is. You watch his interviews, he's a horrible person. Once again, among these medical procedures that he talks about all the time, like the x-rays and the mammograms, CAT scans, CTs, they use radiation and perform functions similar to those of radioisotopes. Similar. However, they do not involve radioactive material and hence are not regulated by the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Instead, most of these procedures are regulated by state health agencies. The health agency is regulating radioactive materials because there, there, there is they are considered radioactive materials, but the NRC doesn't commit it, consider it radioactive material, so they can dispose of it any way they want. They can burn it and release it into your communities any way they want it. They don't have to contain it in the hospital. Hospital uses radioactive radioactive uh, to sterilize instruments all the time. Right? If you want to go test out your Geiger counter, go down to your local hospital and walk past it and watch the numbers shoot up. If you live in a community anywhere close to a nuclear reactor, remember, the fuel ponds are leaching into the environment all the time because they boil dry if you don't keep adding water because the fuel rods are hot. And that's one of the major reasons they're in the pool, besides the fact they'll catch fire, besides the fact that it controls the neutrons. But those pools, as they're boiling off and they keep adding water, that's releasing isotopes into your environment. And so you have rain out in your communities. And so there's been studies now that if you live within 15 kilometers of a nuclear power plant, there's, a, there's a elevated rates of leukemias for children. That's where the highest rates of leukemias are coming from, children who grew up. And see, a lot of children will move out of those areas when they're a little bit older. Their parents might move on. But they got... Like, you got to think about how... This is man-made radioactive materials that the licensing agreement says has to be locked up in man-made sarcophagus. Not in a hole in the ground, not off the side of a ship, not fired in other people's countries. 
but locked up in a container. And that's why they get their license every year renewed and reviewed, is because they allegedly locked it up in a container. But they don't. Hanford dumped 450 billion gallons directly into the soil. Dumped it out of the barrels into the soil. Not counting what they buried. There's 41 miles of open pit down there. Yellow cake you can never get at because it's so toxic. Think about how that's affecting the migratory animals, the birds, the you know, in that whole area, all the insects. Right? I mean, it's hell on earth what they got done to us. And it's only because they're getting away with it is because all of them, from all the institutions, are outrageous, outright lawyers. Every friggin' one of them. Not one of them out there is worth even looking at anymore unless you're trying to figure out what the law is. That's what, what has come down to at this stage. I can't find an honest one out there. I can't find a single one out there that will, will talk to a whole conversation and not tell a lie once, not manipulate once, not deceive people once, not come out and say it like it is once. They all come out and beat around the bush. That's why I'm here all the time. I can't take it anymore. And we look up to some of these people. We try to put our faith into it. We put, try to put our trust into it. But every single video, they'll do it. They can't help it. They were indoctrinated and raised to be like that in the universities and institutions. They idolize these people. And that's where they're getting their pensions from. Right? You can't trust a friggin' one of them out there. It's sickening. It's torture, really. Like for him to come out and say nobody died, my my goodness. Let me run down that list again. You know, just for people that says, oh, oh, Dana, you know, you're talking shit out of the side of your head. The ambulances were going to Fukushima ten times a day. Ten times a day, minimum. For what? Another Fukushima cleanup worker dies, found collapsed after removing radioactive soil, January 17, 2012. I guess he never really died, according to Allison, Dr. Allison from Oxford. Fukushima worker filmed at the plant. He was asked to fake documents underage people were employed. Why don't you ask Allison why they're doing that? Ask Allison why are they putting all the homeless people in the Fukushima, Allison? Huh? How come you're not down there supervising them if it's so friggin' good? Why don't you move your children down to Fukushima Prefecture? I'm sure they'll give you a free house. Allison, they can play in the playgrounds where there's a million Beckwolds per cubic or per square meter in the soil where the children are playing, Allison. Reports indicate five Fukushima workers most likely received a fatal dose of radiation. That's the transcript, February 22nd, 2012, Allison, Dr. Allison. You know, Wade is like, oh, Dana, you know, they don't count because they're um, Japanese, Dana. They don't count because they're homeless, Dana. Right? That's the way he feels, that's the way he thinks, that's the way he propagates it out there. That's how adamant this guy is all the time. Fukushima Diachi worker dies. Had been preparing a cover for unit number three, Allison. I'm surprised Allison said that, uh, you know, we're all being just silly worrying about it. Go back to sleep and shut up. If there's anything to worry about, he'd be the first to tell you. It's people like that that drives me insane. Cesium-137 immediately damages the heart muscle, Allison. Not like in your lecture where you said you poop it out four weeks later. It immediately damages the heart muscle. It sequesters into your organs and into your body, into your muscle. Allison. And, and it doesn't go away for... It's lifespan, which is times 10. Yeah, it's a 30 year, but it's times 10. Allison, why don't you just come out and say that sometime, Dr. Allison, that all radiation is decayed by a factor of 10. So if it's 30 years, it's actually 300 years for gone. Allison? Right, because you've got your pension, your cushy little pension. You get to go out and tell your lies, and people think you're important when you're actually just a lawyer. 
You're just a murderer. You're just a mass murderer. That's all you are. That's your legacy to your grandchildren and to your wife and to your own children who, like you said, understand nothing about science. Lucky for you. Because if they even tried, they would know you're a bullshitter. They probably know better. They just don't want to embarrass you. Because you're a good provider. You just murder millions of people a year so you can be a good provider. You're a good man. You're a miserable old fucker who should be up on trial and sitting in a jail cell in your retirement until you're dead with nothing. You really should be. You're a despicable person. Fukushima work, worker has heart attack while working at reactor number one, only 31 years old. Uh, he was probably predisposed for having heart attacks, predispositions in his gene pool because he didn't come from a wealthy family. Right. He didn't go to Harvard, so it doesn't count. He didn't go to Yale, so he doesn't count. He didn't go to, he wasn't one of your little friend's dummies' children, so he doesn't count. He's just one of the slaves, and so he really doesn't count. He's a braver man than you. He's a better hero than you'll ever be. You don't got the, the honor, the integrity to go down and do his job after he died. New, news agency. After working in an affected area, four workers have died. Victim of leukemia or heart attack. Right, to strontium-90, for your information, Dr. Allison, there was 30 times more strontium-90 for a single isotope radioactive atom of cesium-137. And none of them exists without plutonium and uraniums. Without the plutonium-238, 239, 240, and 241, you so eloquently don't talk about. You don't talk about uranium. You're a friggin' iodine guy. Oh, it's got an eight-day half-life. No big deal. It's long gone. Don't even bother mention the 4.5 billion years of uranium released into the environment when it's supposed to be locked up and you're supposed to be develop the technology to do it. You're supposed to be the one who done it. Oxford, the greatest thing in in UK, can't even build a device to contain radiation. Right? They're useless. And they put out and they put up on pedestals creatures like Allison, Dr. Allison, and let him lie and manipulate and deceive and trick all of his students. And turn them into little fucking monsters. Turn them into little haters. Turn them into little creatures. Who go out and regurgitate everything he says. Because they thought he was a good guy. And they still do. And they don't know any better. And they're stuck with his indoctrination. That's what he does. He indoctrinates rich children's kids. And desensitizes them. Manipulates them. And lies to them. And then reinforces it with his books. And his papers. And his lectures. Report, worker died while decontaminating in Fukushima. Probably nothing to do with radiation, right, Doc? You fucking demented prick. Fuck you. Japan discusses personal health problems, strange deaths. Seven people died on one shop, on one street, shopping street, Doc. You should go shopping there every fucking day. You prick. Fuck you. You piece of shit. Japanese medical expert deeply concerned about children's radiation exposure. 51% of the kids contaminated with cesium-137 at Fukushima Hospital. Well, fuck you. You should move down there and send your children to that fucking hospital. You prick. Fuck you, buddy. 51% of the kids contaminated. You ain't got any fucking heart for them. If that was your kid, you'd be screaming. Not about that, though. I want my kid to get the best medical out there. I'm going to blow the whistle on the nuclear agency. That's what you'll be screaming. Right? You're a monster. That's what you are, Doc. That's your legacy. That's what everybody will look back on you at. As a fucking monster. Who just lied his way to the top. Murdered his way to the top. Deceived his family his entire life. Kept him fucking stupid their entire life. Right? You're a maggot boy. You're a parasite on our society. You old, miserable fucker. Radiation health specialist. Children with over 11 Beckwells a kilogram of cesium starts to see heart problems. Right? He advocates 500 Beckwells 
of cesium 137 in food it's okay you'll poop it out studies are showing 11 becquels a kilogram you'll see heart problems with children doc like you and all your fucking students that you put out there think about the carnage you left behind i know you're proud of it but you would hope that in your old age you would come to your senses and have some remorse have some fucking regret you're just a war criminal man that's all you are he talks about how he's got a video on YouTube with 11,000 views and three quarters of them were thumbs up and the other quarter was thumbs down. That's pretty freaking good, he said. Comments were turned off, of course. Well, I'm not going to turn the comments off, Doc. Have Adam, folks. The Fukushima hounds. They already have, actually. <laughs> I was reading them earlier. <laughs> but I mean, like, my goodness. And you wonder why I'm mad at these people all the time. You wonder why I blow my lid sometimes, like tonight. Why I snap. Because what about the victims, Doc? What about them? You should have to go down and give them all a baseball cap and tell them how fucking lucky they are to work around radiation. Doc? You should go down there and hang out around number one where there's a million sieves, Doc? And just put out a YouTube video as you're dropping dead, you fucker. And I turned this, another one I got turned into just a hateful fucking rant. Because I've been hanging it, I've been biting my tongue for hours. Listening to him. Trying not to yell at the screen like I'm doing now. Which is what I've done then. i got to learn to start taping it as I'm watching it. Because that would be entertaining, okay? Trust me. <laughs> you have no idea how fucking worked up I can get when I'm listening to their lectures. I'll stop it. I'll go out and search it. Right? I don't, I don't just go off because I happen to know a lot. I go off because I I want to make deadly sure that I'm not demonizing something, someone inappropriately. That I'm not going to marginalize them inappropriately. That I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to unfairly call somebody out. I'm not going to irrationally fucking snap on somebody for something to do. That's not how it works. They got to really get under my skin for me to put out a video. And they got to really truly get under my skin to put out the second one. They really do. Because there's so fucking many of them. But what's his legacy? There's a whole bunch of retards out there in the nuclear industry. With his narrative. That's, 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 the, that's what it is, you know. He's put out thousands of retards. Of dummies. Of idiots. They went through his classes, and they're all tainted. They're all garbage. You got if you find them, they went to Oxford. You got to disregard everything they've ever said. You can't trust a word that ever came out of their mouth. You got to search everything that comes out of their mouth if you want to trust them, because if you send people there, they're going to get lied to. If you don't, that's the burden I got a lot of the times. Is I can't do things because. Well, they might say something good. They say so much fucking bad shit. You send them over to people are going to get tainted. So Japan author, there's an extreme increase of death by cardiac diseases in Fukushima. The death rate might give the creeps to some people. Not Dr. Allison. Oh, no, no, no fucking way. He's like, whoa, look at all the dead people. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. He'll probably buy a house down there by Fukushima. He'll put a webcam up in the window. He'll get someone to go and do it all for him with a live stream of the workers coming home. And he'll probably play that every little chance he gets on his little PDA or something, right? Oh, I bet you he'll die in a week. I know, Dana, you're twisted. But there's a 12,695 more heart attacks in Fukushima, Japan, right after Fukushima, right after the accident or the event, compared to the year before. Heart attacks went up over 12,000 people. Doc, too fucking bad you weren't down there. Even if you were dead, I would have come out and made this fucking video, because you tainted everything you fucking touch. Right? That's your legacy is you fucked over everybody. And you got a retirement package out of it. You're actually a war criminal. That's all you are, Doc. You're a friggin' war criminal. Uh, 
ay ay Doc is a crazy man. Really, really crazy man. I know, I'm snapping at this stage. Senior scientists, irreversible heart damage for children with 50 becquels a kilogram of CC-137. He's advocating 500 becquels in British meat. What was the name of that video? Hang on, I'll tell you. Weed Elshin. ACCJ Food Safety Part 3, Dr. Wade Allison. That was the last one I was watching. I never finished watching all of that one. But I watched all the other stuff. Right? He wants to put 500. That's okay. Put 500 uh, Beckwolds. The studies showing 11 Beckwolds will cause children's hearts damage. And the 50 Beckwolds will cause irreversible heart damage in children. And then I put in the map of the cesium 137. Of course, you got to have iodine 129 and that 132, 133, 131 times 10 half lives. So it's two days, it's 20 days. It only takes three days for it to get over to North America through the jet streams. And like anybody, and a lot of people have watched a lot of my stuff, so I, sometimes I feel bad going down the same road all the time, but that's the whole point, is to get everybody so articulate on these points, they don't even realize it, but they can knock anybody down. It becomes a reflex. It's like wax on, wax off, boy and boy. It really, it really does work. If you're using your brain as a wax on or wax off is a block or wax on is blocking a kick. Uh, buh, 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 buh. So the reporter says he heard ambulances coming to Fukushima plant at least 10 times a day. That was a journalist. Uh, he heard ambulances 10 times a day, Doc. For cut fingers and stubbed toes, right, Doc? You crazy critter. But let me uh, let me come back and go back and notch here for everybody. Let me go back and learn another notch here. Let me go over uh, radiation and illnesses for everybody. Just because he, you're contaminated right now by Allison. And you took his class, or you went to his, you got your degree through that college. Top cancer doctor says nuclear radiation is the most carcinogenic thing that exists. And that's why you're supposed to have sarcophagus, right? Oxford teaching it all these years, they never even bothered trying to build a sarcophagus. Never even bothered. Just teach people to go out and friggin' hate on the planet, go out and release the stuff into the environment, just pure eugenics up on the planet. A, a, a creature of hate that's what he is and that's what he produced you have to assume that's what he produced because anybody that opposed him he wouldn't have been very happy with that and he probably wouldn't have graduated without getting very low marks right because that's what he is he's a thug he can't even stop himself now now he's an old mean cranky thug so Landmark study presents strong evidence to date that cancer risk not only exists at low doses of radiation, but may be even greater per unit of dose than at a higher dose. And so all that cesium, uranium, plutonium, all the strontium that came over and deposited right around the entire northern hemisphere and a lot of the southern hemisphere, the entire fucking Pacific Ocean, is not going anywhere. Right? And that's not low background radiation. That's high fucking background radiation. That's not potassium-40 like a banana. We don't talk about that shit. And people that do, you have to disregard them. People that put potassium-40... Like you're, you're, you have 4,400 decays in your body right now. Potassium-40. But who gives a fuck? That's natural. Everything on this planet has natural radiation. And they use that in the equation. Because 4,400 beckles of cesium will fuck you up. 4,400 beckles a second in your body of strontium-90 will fuck you over. That's leukemia like you can't imagine. Your body will fill up with white blood cells. And you won't have any oxygen. You'll be weak and sick and dizzy and fucking... Right? This stuff is so hideous. And this is a professor... That's friggin' retired. That taught generations. 
lies, deception, marginalizations, how to go out and demonize people, how to blow people off. I say, a oh, freak man, my doctor, our professor told us that nobody died of Fukushima. That's good enough for me. He's a professor, he wouldn't lie to you. That's all he fucking done. That's all he done. He lied his entire existence. Just lie after lie after lie. Go listen to his lectures. It's friggin' lie after lie after lie and misrepresentation. It's outrageous. But there it is, as I've been telling you all along, you can't trust, in particular, the big institutions like Oxford and Cambridge. You can't touch, touch or trust anything from Cambridge, any of the nuclear scientists, any of them from Harvard or Yale, particularly Berkeley. Don't even get me started. I got a big file on Berkeley, UC Berkeley. These are disgusting, disgusting maggots on our society. That's how they got to where they are. That's what these people, these people are pro-nuclear, not because they got science to back it up, but because they got a job, because they got a pension, because they got a platform, because they feel important, and because they know that they are lying. They get that. They got the education. They know better. At what point, at what point would they tell the truth? They can't. They're incapable of it. That's why they got the job. That's why they're doing the lectures. That's the kickback. That's why they're put on the pedestal. That's why when he dies, media will come out and mourn him. We'll come out and stomp him back down into the ground. But media will be there. What a lovely guy. He put out generations of nuclear scientists who helped us seek out the stars Forget about the babies in Afghanistan and Iraq with no arms, no face, no nose, no stomach, and no one to take care of them. Born into hell for the rest of their lives because of creatures like him. Because he just can't tell the truth. He's incapable. That's why he's got the job. Because he understands. Just keep telling a lie over and over and over, generation after generation, and you believe it yourself. Then you can write books. Even though you know you're lying, even though you know your family are not science scientists, are not, and because you say that, they don't know jack shit about science. And so you can lie to them every day of your life and go home with no worries they're going to work out your lies or confront you on it. And your students are terrified of you, they just want to get their degree and go out and fucking murder people anyway. Anybody who goes to Oxford is a fucking idiot. Can't be trusted. Is an inbreed. Right? From the blue bloods. Britain don't even elect your upper parliament or appoint it. And lower parliament, right, which is what you elect, they can't do a fucking thing unless upper parliament says okay. They'll just block the bill, throw it away, and nobody mentions it. They're not elected, they're appointed. Same as this fucker, he's appointed because he's a creature. And because nobody calls him out. So he's not damaged good. Well, he's friggin' damaged good now. Everything he's ever said is garbage. Everything, his books, garbage. His academics, garbage. His students, garbage. Real garbage. Useless garbage. Oxford, Cambridge, King's David's College. These are the worst things on the planet in UK. You won't hear them talking about Sellafield with 8 million liters a day hemorrhaging to the freaking ocean. Now everything's good. No leaks down there. They found some natural radon on the beach. <laughs> right? That's what, that's what the last one was. They had a high reading of radiation outside of uh, Sellafield, England. And then the next day the headlines was False alarm, it was just natural radon on the beach. Now you've been there 50 years, you didn't fucking know about the radon on the beach? Is that what you're saying? Right? Just outrageous lies. And so anybody goes out and trying to figure out what the hell it means, they go out and they find this prick. Because he's from their college. He's top of the line. He taught for fucking decades. He was guest lecturer all over the friggin' world. He wouldn't lie to you. Because you don't know any better. 
Because you're forced to fucking take his word for it. Right? He can't stand a grease and over like I can give him. I would destroy him all night long. I've been listening to his lectures and there's nothing there I can't fucking rip him up over. It was just a simple video I put out there tonight because that really stuck with me. That he would say that, that nobody died. That, that there was no one harmed down there. That everything was fucking fine. It's not like he's incapable or incapable of finding the stuff I talk about. He's a professor, ex-professor. He can go down to Oxford and get his hands on the 39 academic peer review studies from fucking Springer if he wanted to. He can get the fucking 2800 at Wiley if he wanted to. And he can get the 2500 at Elsevier if he wanted to. At the publishing houses that are locked up behind the paywalls that you paid for. All his studies are locked up behind paywalls. But you paid for it. You paid for the institutions. You're paying for his fucking retirement. You paid for his expendables. You paid for all the equipment. You paid for everything that he touched. And he locked it up at the publishing houses. 4,800 peer review academic studies are locked away every fucking day. Right? And that's why he's able to get out there and say things because you can't flush it out. He's counting on that. He's counting on it 100%. He knows all about that. He's one of the good old boys club, right? I would love to go back through his history and his parents' history and everything else to see who they were blowing when he was growing up to get him in there. You know, really, the disinformation by nuclear scientists, they try to confuse the public about the effects of the external internal radiation, right? That's all they do. They spend their entire lifespan fucking that over. They, they do nothing for society. They serve no purpose for society. They serve purpose for an agenda and a handful of corporations. Right? Oxford is just garbage for having someone like that there. But they're all like that at Oxford. They're all like that at Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and MIT and Stanford. And the Commonwealth, because I fucking studied it for eight years, professors, at all these institutions. I have thousands and thousands and thousands of lectures from these institutions. And when you get into these subjects, you start realizing, as you look it up on your own, what kind of fucking lawyers these people are. It's shocking. It's disturbing. It's the downfall of our society... It's a black eye for society till the end of time. It's the biggest betrayal imaginable of the academic world ever. Is these institutions are pro everything. Corporation. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you. They care about the military industrial machine and lobbyists. And they're, they're all connected. They're all one and the same. They're all playing the same game. And they got no intentions of producing anything counter to that. It's so whatever the military wants, give it to them. So every country is like that. But these are the proliferation. Is UK and America. Canada's a fucking joke. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Dr. J. Collin is doing a lot of harm. Every time he opens his mouth. Disinformation, you know. Low doses of radiation causes heart diseases and strokes. There's another study. Doc, you won't, re you won't refer to any of that stuff. Charles risk of cancer from radiation 10 to 100 times higher than an adult with the same exposure. Doc, why don't you bring your kids down to Fukushima, Doc? I'm begging you. I'm fucking begging you, Allison. Bring your children down to Fukushima. Bring your grandchildren down there. Abel, take care of you. They'll give you a free fucking house. It's uncivilized, I swear. Go fuck yourself. I swear, I mean, you know, name one family out there that grew up in a household that didn't swear, and they're fucking anal. They're the analest people you'll ever fucking meet. You grew up in a home that doesn't swear, you probably got no fucking emotions. You definitely got something wrong with you. No offense to you, not your fault. Blame that one on your parents' upbringing. 
There's nothing wrong with swearing. Anybody says any different, go fuck themselves. Uh, you know, it's just the people out there that try to demonize anybody. Because you're not allowed to say can't. Because that's assertive. You're not allowed to say I ain't. Because that's assertive. you got to play this game. Well, I don't think. You can't say I ain't. Because the other person doesn't know how to try to talk to you now. Try to talk you into something. Because they don't have the balls to be ass to be assertive, right? They have to play like they're fucking little dummies. Everybody, yup, 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 yes, boss, yeah, boss, hey, boss, well, okay, boss, whatever you say, boss. You want me to kill them, boss? I'll kill them for you, boss. You just tell me, boss, I'll go do it, boss. I don't think I'm my own, boss. Right? That's what they attract. That's what his fucking wife is like. That's what his children are like. Right? To subservient to that fucking creature. He even brags about it. My family don't know fuck all about science. You're a fucking professor. And you don't know nothing. What kind of fucking father are you, man? That's his statement, though, see? But it tells you a lot about him. That somebody like that can actually exist. And treat his own family like that. And put out students that are stupid and dangerous. Destructive. And are in, feel like they're entitled. Feel like they're superior. Feel like they're fucking better than everybody else. Oh, by the way, I see Piers Morgan got the fucking boat. Ha ha ha. Maybe you can go down and have a baby with fucking Alice and Morgan. Take fucking Thunderfoot with you too, eh? Fucking creepy bastard. Yeah, I got a couple of messages from Thunderfoot's uh, friends. Whatever that means. That he wanted a truce. And he wants me to take down my videos. And he'll take down the ones of me. I don't give a fuck about the ones you got up in me. Because they're lies. They make you look like an idiot. You're bullshit. The ones I got are you. They're a real deal. They fucking destroy your narrative. Just like my videos destroying Allison's narrative. Nobody died in Fukushima. Shut the fuck up. You fucking tool. You maggot. You fucking waste. A fucking skin. You embarrassment to the academic world. But you're all embarrassments. Every fucking one of you. None of you out there got any gumptions. None of you, none of you out there are heroes. None of you out there got courage. None of you out there... I, I wouldn't want a fucking one of you out there as a neighbor. That's a fact. Last thing I want to live alongside of a fucking professor from an institution. I'm sick of it. Just lying, manipulating, deception, and putting out another generation of fucking mass murderers. Of idiots. Of useful fucking idiots. That all they want is some notoriety because we work at an institution and a paycheck so you can feel like you have fucking accomplished something. Because you couldn't do it on your own. Because you don't have what it takes. That's what they produce. They produce the parasites upon our society. Officials sharply, this is Washington Street Journal, official sharply raised radiation levels for residents to get iodine pills after meltdown. They raised it 75 times higher than World Health Organization's recommended for children. It was Japan. That was uh, Washington Street Journal reporting on it. That Japan, when they had the, 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 the meltdowns, Three complete 100% meltdowns and detonations. Number three, a fuel pool was a nuclear detonation. A nuclear detonation. And those communities, I mean, they should have evacuated out to 300 miles. There's 30,000 square miles down there that are completely devastated with up to a million becquels. Average of around 300,000 becquels of cesium. Not mention the uranium, plutonium, strontium-90 and all their daughters. And then they're burning the incineration of the ashes, 100,000 becquels, kilogram of ash being released into the environment constantly. The rain releases it, re-liberates it. The storms, the snow. It's still hemorrhaging out of the fucking three melted cores, Doc. Into the fucking ocean, Doc. You prick. You fucking prick. Fuck you. Fuck you anyway tonight. After watching your fucking videos today. Fuck you man. You beg of shit.
You retired piece of fucking shit. I hope you get put in an old age home where they beat you every fucking day. I really do. You fucking deserve it. So we're finding now that girls are having as much as twice as many thyroid lumps as boys in Fukushima. And this is not a low number we're talking about. We're talking 50, 60, 70 percent of the population after a couple of years have got nulls and thyroid issues. You know, you take those fucking pills, that don't matter. The radiation is still going down into you and it's going to sequester into your organs. Fuck off with the iodine shit, okay? I'm sick of it. Do jack fucking shit for you. If you ingest it, you have fucking ingested it. Ain't no iodine pill or anything else going to fucking save you or help you. That's stupid nonsense. It really is. It's just meant to make you think that you have an option. Oh, if you only got some iodine, honey, you've been okay. Complete opposite. The truth is much, much, much more serious. That's why every once in a while they fucking snap. Because this is why it took so long for this story to be coming out. It's because of these fucking liars out there. And their videos are not going to go away. And so people that like that shit are going to come hopefully and find this video. Or even better, my last one. Of him. Well, low-level radiation, it showed grasshoppers with deformed wings, gray eyes, not red, birds with abnormal sperm, strange large tumors. These were fucking professors showing into a study. This is outside the institutions now. You know, for every good study out there, there's a million bad ones. MD, medical doctor. Infant deaths also up in BC, Canada after Fukushima collaborates U.S. study. For the first 14 weeks after Fukushima, Canadian and American baby deaths rose to the ceiling, right? Fox had it out there was, um, was iodine 131 responsible for a, a huge increase of, of uh, baby deaths in Philadelphia. But that, that was right across America, California. Nuclear radiologists, don't be fooled by paid industry consultants, low dosing of ionizing radiation do cause cancer. And there was that study about breast cancer and the, the study, uh, she didn't realize it, but she had shown that all breast cancer was from ionizing radiation. So that's stuff that got released from chain reaction, nuclear fission, that got you know dumped into the environment, dumped into the oceans, dumped into your lakes and rivers. All nuclear plants are leaking into the oceans and into the rivers. All of them. Without fail. That's they're designed to do that because they release too much into the community. You got people dying on the streets. That ain't gonna go over very fucking good. Right? Everybody gotta change their habit. Data showed a large spike in deaths, particularly infant deaths, in the fourteen weeks following Fukushima meltdown, Idaho T V and that was about that other study to collaborate it. The NRC wants radiation exposure limits 100 times higher than the EPA. The EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals with no environmental or human impact studies. That's why you can have 4,000 cigarettes, 4,000 chemicals in your cigarette. Right? It's because the EPA grandfathered in with the help of professors like Dr. Dumbshit from UK, Allison. And so 65,000 chemicals, that's why you can have 4,000 chemicals in a stuffed toy for your baby or in your diapers for your baby or in your bottle you've put in your child's mouth in the nipple and the pacifiers is because the EPA just, fuck it, grandfathered everything in. All 65,000 chemicals. No environmental, no human impact studies. It's not like they can't fucking do it. I know they actually developed the technology out there. You'll love this one. And guess what? It can identify 65,000 chemicals in about a minute. When I use that to figure out which ones are carcinogenic and try to fucking replace them with something that's not carcinogenic. Right? Because all the universities are full of pro-corporations, pro-nuclear corporations, pro-lobbyist corporations, pro-lobby this, pro-lobby that. And so they're not going to do anything that's good. 
They're only going to do shit that's bad to you. That's all they ever do. Because we got no choice but to take everything back. Or fucking destroy it and start again. But we got to deal with all this radiation, all this cancer, and all this sterilization that is being, you know, pushed up, put up on us through the releases. Massive, mad amounts of releases, accelerated amounts of radioactive releases that are supposed to be in a sarcophagus. That Oxford University was supposed to be put into a sarcophagus. Right? Oxford University still can't build a sarcophagus for all the nuclear proliferation that's out there. And so why the fuck are they proliferating it? They can't even build a sarcophagus to contain it. So wouldn't it, the moral and ethical thing to be saying is that, well, we can't build anything to contain it, so we need to stop doing that until we can build something. Let's all work to build something and then get on with the nuclear power. Maybe. But you can't even contain it. One single release, one single accident is one too fucking many. 2.5 million uranium-235 bullets a month in Iraq is 2.5 million a month too many. It's too much. You're firing that into people's homes, doc. Why don't you go down there and visit Fallujah, you fucking maggot? You won't get any respect off me. You won't get me being polite to you. I'm not capable of it. I've listened to you. You tell none of lies. It goes for all you fuckers out there in the industry. I catch up to you. I'll tear you apart too. And at some point in the near future, there'll be a million just like me fucking tearing into you too. And you're done. That day is not that far away. You can't hide what you've done. You can't hide the massive releases. You can't hide, keep saying, oh, Chernobyl's the worst accident, when there was a 30% meltdown. It was one-third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. Fukushima is 100% meltdown. 100. And the fuel pools are missing. 122,000 rods in the fuel pool. What about that, Doc? Don't put that into the fucking equation. What did I do? I just swore that time for another, what, how long have I been swearing for now? <laughs> 56 minutes of cursing. <laughs> That's how pissed off I am at you, Dr. Allison. You terrible, terrible, mean, horrible, nasty old fucker. You fuck you, you miserable bag of shit. Go fuck yourself. You're a coward. You're a fucking traitor to all of humanity, and particularly to your family. You sold them out, buddy. They got to live with your legacy, okay? They got to live with people coming out and finding you and calling you out till the end of time. That's your fucking legacy for your children and your grandchildren and their grandchildren. Is Our old grandfather was a miserable old fucker who just fucking lied to everybody. Marginalized everything. So you can have a fucking paycheck and a pension. Our grandfather is what you're going to say. His children will say our father and their children will say our grandfather had no honor, had no morals, had no ethics. He was a scumbag his entire fucking life. There you go. A little over the top. Too fucking bad. Hi, Janet. Hi, sweet Jane. Hi, Double Hoop Nation. Chris Barton. Sergeant York. DC. Reram. Pet Lover. Just passing through, Albert, Kurtrick Gay, Michael Hand, Damak, uh, yup, I don't know what the fuck is going on, Miss Milky, Basic Data, Mark Bush, yeah, I can cuss with the best when I want to. Miss Milky says she spent pros about four years swearing on YouTube. <laughs> Stetson says, settle down, Data! <laughs> hey, original Punisher! You poor bastard, I gotta go and not fucking spam you every night, man. I keep, I keep forgetting to mention you every night, though. You're probably gonna get spammed out again. 
I keep saying, I got you in the list now about five times to be able to comment. So I'll go back and take them all out except for one. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Silver and gold is a good idea. Checks and balances. You guys are pretty funny sometimes. Sometimes you guys fight among yourselves. I can't control that. I'm not even going to try. That's something you got to work out on your own. When people fight among themselves, fight in the comment sections, sometimes that brings out the best of us, you know? Hi, Rob. Thank you. John, thank you, bud. Checks and balances. Stetson. Dwayne Campbell. Joyce Wickers. Hi. Albert. Irene Arell. Good night, everybody. 11 Brand 11. Snoop. Let me see here. Steven's here. Yeah, you bet, folks. Basic data. I can't possibly keep up with it. Sorry. I'll come in and read them all after. Steve Moyer. Steve's always uh, posting stuff, folks. He's pretty good. Keep an eye on his posts. Go check it out. Give him a bit of support, okay? Uh, he's trying, right? And he works hard to what he does. Jill Clarkson. Moments, nothing more. I'll say hi and goodbye to a few more people. Chris Shirley. DC. I said hi to everybody tonight at the beginning. Yeah, I pretty well got every single person there tonight. That was pretty good. Candace. Okay, folks. Missing Sky. Thank you, Missing Sky. I almost forgot you that time. Just passing through. The only one can ever swear at me, I think, is Miss Milky. She's pretty good. Can't take it away from her either. She got power, man. I like it. It's really cool. You know, we all make mistakes, right? And that's okay. You know, if they're honest mistakes, you're allowed to make mistakes. I get demonized for my mistakes. That's okay, though. I don't care. The last night I made 270 headlines or something. And somebody managed to find one of them that <laughs> made a mistake and had a go at me. That's actually how we ended up with this video tonight. With both of these videos tonight is because of a troll. That's how I do a lot of my videos because when a troll comes at me, you go over, I shouldn't tell you this I suppose, but I go over to their sites and I'll go to their videos I'll find <laughs> the pro nuclear. Yank, yank, yank in my collection of people to call it when I get around to it. But like I, this guy really intrigued me. There was a short video and then I watched a whole bunch more of them and I got him more angrier uh, to the point where I was screaming and swearing. And don't mind me, like I don't do that for a bit of fun sometimes. So, Isotope Hokey Pokey, Toxic, Re Ramp, Pam, Mammy, Skywatch, Pet Lovers. There you go. I got a few in that at a time. We'll catch you folks tomorrow night. Aqua, just passing through, standing foot. Did I miss anybody? Newman, I eh, pretty well got everybody. If I didn't get you at the end of it, I probably got you at the beginning because <laughs> I, I went through quite a long list. That's an hour and two minutes. Um, we'll be back tomorrow night. We'll do it all again. And just remember, folks, I'm not always screaming. I'm not always ranting. I know some people probably prefer that. Most times I'm pretty good. Sometimes I snap. Generally I'm pretty good, but I am me. That's who I am. And when... when uh, and when I'm wound up, when people get under my skin or people are tormenting me, videos like this is a way of me getting it off my chest. And everything I said tonight, every fucking word, without a single exception, oh, I meant it. He's a scumbag. He's a fucking douchebag. And Dr. Wade Allison, you know, fuck you, you fucking traitor. Go fuck yourself, you piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, you bastard. <laughs>